In today's video, I'm going to share with you a few methods that I use in pretty much every color grading project. Cinematography and videography is all about storytelling and driving viewers' attention to a specific area of the clip. And we can easily do this in color grading by isolating subject from the background. So I'm going to have a few clips here and we are in our color tab. We're going to color grade it from scratch. Let's start with adding color space transform. I know this video was shot on Sony FX3, so this is going to be S log three gamma dot sign S log three. And we converting it to rec 79 gamma 2.4. This is the first step. Let's name this color space transform. The next step would be to add primaries. And in this node, I usually fix my exposure and white balance. In our case, it's pretty decent, but I still kind of want to bump up our gamma to make sure we have a little bit more details in our fur friend. I also want to make the image a little bit warmer, so I'm going to decrease blues just a tiny bit. Great. Let's add another node and I'm going to use my presets to color grade. You can actually go ahead and check out the description below. There's going to be a link to my presets so you can go and download those if you want. Let's call it look. I already like how everything looks, but the presets is a little bit overpowering. So I'm going to go to key output and decrease it to maybe 75%, something like that. Before, after, before, after, great. Which is going to bump up exposure just a tiny bit. Okay. I like how it looks. I still would want to add a little bit more contrast by adding curves, highlights, and dropping down shadows. Great. So it's already starting to look pretty decent, but I don't like how everything blends together. We have our background, our main subject, sky, water, and his white fur. It's almost the same brightness, so it's kind of blend together. So I want to isolate my background from the main subject. And one of the things you can do, you can go to power windows, create a power window, press shift H to see what we're doing. You can invert your mask. And you can add this vignetting by decreasing gamma a little bit, maybe even go into HDR and decreasing light. So we're pulling our viewers attention more towards our main subject. I actually want to add another layer of contrast here by adding uh, default anchors. Let's drop it down, but decrease highlights even more. Great. So this is one of the options you have and it's fast and easy and it's pretty straightforward. But if you want to be more precise, I would suggest to add masks instead. We can disable our vignetting. And I'm going to go to mask, select our subject, click on the subject, press shift H to see exactly what was selected, invert the mask. And now we can do pretty much the same what we've done with our vignetting, but with a more precision, decrease gamma, decrease light. I'm not going to be spending too much time on this because it's just a quick tutorial. Add default anchors and decrease highlights. Great. 
So you already see how it affects the overall mood of the image. Before, after, before, after, before, after. I overdid it a little bit, but bear with me. Okay, great. So we already see how our subject is much more isolated from the background, and that's what we are going for. The only thing you need to do is to go to the mask and track it back and forward so to make sure that every frame is masked. What I don't like that we have this distinctive line of our mask and you can easily fix that by going in this tab and clean blacks a little bit and adding some blur. Great, see, it's already disappeared. Perfect. So this is how you do quick isolation. I actually want to go further and show you another method that is very effective as well. For that, I'm going to use just a little bit different cl clip. It's already graded. This is was our log. Color space transform, primaries, contrast, look, and I also added some glow for the background. Great. I want to go ahead and isolate my subject from the background even further. For that, I'm going to go to our effects and search for depth mask, depth map. Let's add it to our node. And you already see it does what it's supposed to do. It's isolated everything that somewhat close to the camera. By expanding this accordion, you can further adjust your mask, depth map, and go to map finesse and enable post processing so our hair is perfectly isolated. Great. Now we just need to invert this depth map and disable depth map preview. That's it. That was super easy. Now we can go to our primaries, decrease gamma a little bit, maybe add another layer of contrast with curves, but make those highlights pop. I'm just making sure that our subject is at the front and popping from the background. This is before and after. And look how easy it was to isolate the subject with all three methods, but how impactful it was on the image. And I'm going to show you log, graded, and then isolated. So you can see the difference between three grades. So those are three methods that I use in pretty much any color grading project that I do. And I hope after watching this video, you can utilize those techniques in your project. And if this video was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.